All right, welcome to the second edition of YHS Track Talk. Uh, this week we're going to look into the importance of practice, and we're also going to talk about one of my favorite injury prevention products, which is called the stick. Uh, it, it's just awesome. So uh, a couple of quick notes just in terms of this week coming up. We do have three meets as a team. We have the, the Downers Grove South Mustang Relays on Monday. That starts at 6 p.m. If you're on the bus, if you're going to be competing in that meet, we want you there no later than 3.30. Um, if, if Muth told you a different time, make sure you're there uh, at his time as well because I know he's having practice that day. Uh, we do not have practice for the sprinters on Monday, so uh, we'll see you on Tuesday. And also Tuesday is a big important day because uh, that's our first day where we'll have everybody out, the outdoor uh, track people as well as the indoor team. Okay, so... Be prepared for that. That's at 2.50 p.m., so make sure you're there on time at the YHSA uh, gymnasium, okay? Uh, Friday, the girls travel to Plainfield South uh, for a meet, a quadrangular meet, and then uh, Saturday, the boys head over to Plainfield South for a meet over there as well. So, busy week. Uh, next week, we're going to have a lot, of talk, lot to talk about, but right now, let's uh, jump right in. So I've had a few emails over the last week or so uh, asking about practice. Uh, most of the athletes do understand that, that they need to be there every single day. Uh, but I want to make sure that that's out there for all the parents to see and everything like that. Because I've had some emails from parents as well, you know, asking, you know, hey, is my son or daughter supposed to be at practice every single day? So here's how this works. Um, I know the throwers are in the morning. Uh, they're kind of the, the special case right now uh, where, where they'll check in with guys on a daily basis. I'm pretty sure they're, they're doing uh, good things right now. They do meet after school to lift. So if, if you have a, a thrower that's going to have their, their first day coming up on Tuesday, uh, which is March 8th, which is the, uh, the official start of outdoor season, then you know just have them go after school, uh, check in with Coach Gazaldo. And, and make sure that, that they know what the thrower schedule is. But, but for the sprints and the distance group, our two biggest groups, we meet after school Monday through Friday at 2.50 uh, at the York, Yorkville High School Freshman Center, okay, at the academy. We, we are going till 5 p.m. Um, unless uh, your event coach tells you otherwise, so make sure that if you're an athlete, you're always checking in with them. Uh, and then also on Saturdays, we have the gyms at the freshman center from 8 to 10 p.m. The sprint group for sure uh, from here until the end of the season, if there's an open Saturday that, that we don't have a meet, we'll have practice from 8 to 10. Okay, uh, distance I know this week met at 10. Again, make sure you're checking in with your event coach. They will communicate. Uh, when practice is okay, it's your responsibility as an athlete to make sure you're talking with your coach and, and listening, making sure you know when practice is okay. Because uh, we don't need any miscommunications, we don't need any angry parents calling us because we they don't know when practice is okay. You need to pay attention. Um, the other thing that kind of throws a monkey wrench into things is we go to the Vaughn Center every Thursday. Okay, that's in Aurora, and they uh, we aren't absolutely requiring athletes to go to that okay we'd like to see a lot of athletes go to that but we can't require just because it will go a little bit later uh, we usually don't get home until 5 30 5 45 so the Vaughn center it, it's an indoor track it's a great opportunity for us and we definitely take advantage of it but you know we understand that it's not at Yorkville so uh, that's pretty much the only day that your athlete should potentially maybe miss and even then I'd rather them not uh, but they will need to check in. That's sprints and distance. Uh, they will need to check in with their event coach uh, in order to make sure uh, you know they want them going because some of our groups are rather large, and we just can't facilitate a workout in that small of a, a facility with everybody that we have. So you know, uh, check in with your event coach and make sure that it's okay that you're going. We do have mini buses to take people to the Vaughn Center. Uh, myself and Coach Muth will drive. So, uh, you know, you don't have to bring your athlete to the Vaughn Center yourself. So we do provide transportation through the rest of March. So, I mean, it's a great opportunity. Again, check in with your event coach. I can't say that enough. 
You need to communicate with your event coach so you know what's going on. Okay, you need to listen when they when we bring everyone together at the beginning of practice. You need to be listening to make sure you know what's going on. And we expect you there Monday through Saturday. Okay, so that's hopefully it clears up some questions. If you if you have more, uh, go to our website yorkvilletrackandfield.com. There's a contact link, and then you can uh, send me a direct email. The the form that you fill out sends me a direct email. I will answer as many questions as I possibly can. Uh, and if if you have more questions that maybe I can't answer, you know, about the distance team or the the throwers or anything like that, uh, you know, I, I'll forward them on to the to the appropriate coach. So hopefully that clears up some uh, some questions. Uh, you know, we we're a sport that doesn't require a lot of of uh, equipment. I mean, really, all we ask is that you have a, a great pair of running shoes uh, for you know ninety nine percent of the athletes. Um, that said, you know, there are some things that can definitely help you out. And I think one of the biggest ones is what's called the stick. Uh, the stick is a, uh, therapy, uh, device for lack of a better way of describing it. Uh, it's, it's a massager is really what it is. And it's, it's, uh, just, it's really great. I mean, I, I've been using it for probably five years now. Um, and, and I am definitely better because of it, you know, uh, in my own personal training and running. Um, so the stick, it's basically just a rolling massager. Uh, it comes in various sizes and lengths. It's, it's, I mean, it's, I can't say enough about the product. Um, some, some general tips, you've got to make sure you keep your muscles relaxed when you're using it. Um, you know, you can use it right on your skin. Um, if you're using it on your legs and you're a guy and you have some hair on your legs, you might want to do it over like some track pants type have had some hair rip out from time to time, but it's still still worth it. Um, you know, you can bend it uh, so you can really put some pressure uh, into your in your leg or in your back, your neck, whatever you're massaging your arms. Um, you know, but you don't have to hurt yourself. You know, you don't have to like just get in there and and and, and tear up the muscles. I and mean, you can just lightly massage. Um, it's it's best if you do it when you're warm, warming up or you've warmed up already or right after your practice stuff like that. Um, you know you can really fine tune how you do it by like moving your hands up and down. You know like so if if I really want to you know pinpoint a specific area, I'm not going to hold on to the stick way out here. You know I'll hold on really close and, and really get in on that area that needs to get work done. Um, you know, but I mean, if you use it and you use it and you use it, massage does kind of break up that muscle a little bit and gets in there. So you can get kind of sore from using it. So just be you know, mindful of that. So um, the basic principle is is you're going to go over whatever muscle about 20 times, uh, getting, you know, progressively harder as you go. Um, you know, maybe 30 seconds is a, is a good amount of time. Um, if, you're, if you're hitting a spot that's real sore, you know, like a lot, we had a, 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 I know my sprint group, I've had some people with some quad injuries. Um, you know, some people have some hamstring, you know, where they're really tight. Uh, not as many calf injuries this year, but still calves uh, are, are important to get on this too. Uh, you know, maybe go over that about 20 more times, so 40 times over those. And, and you know, make sure you really work into it. So, uh, yeah, the stick, I, I, I can't say enough about it. If you uh, go to thestick.com. Uh, you can find it. it it's uh, the problem is, is the main one retails for like eighty dollars, uh, so you can actually go to Amazon.com and if you look below this link, I'm going to provide links uh, and they have various uh, kinds too, which is really great. Uh, you can pay anywhere from in the twenties to forties if you go to Amazon.com and, and to get a stick. So I really suggest uh, purchasing them at Amazon.com. Or if you'd like to get one sooner than later, um, they do have them at Naperville Running Company for sure, and, and you do get uh, your discount with that. Just make sure you mention that you run for Coach Draper. Okay, so that's a stick. That's this week's injury prevention tip.